TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 248. NASDAQ up 64, S&P's up 27. That gave you a gain in all the indices, folks, of nine-tenths of one percent. Gold, gold as well as silver caught the bid. You had gold contract up $44, trading 1393. That's in an ABC structure in the way up to, with a price projection of 1401. Silver up 47 cents, 15 dollars 43 cents. Lightly crude also caught the bid, up two dollars 89 cents, trading 56.65. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. You had the 10-year note up uh, three ticks, 127.31. 30-year bond up seven at 155.25. What the 10-year did do out here today, folks, is that it broke the 2% barrier. We got down to 1.98. I expect we're going to see 1.73. And, um, you know, bottom line is that uh, we got down to two pretty quick and broke that two pretty quick. King dollar. King dollar down 422 ticks, trading 96,160. If we get over and we take a look at King dollar, what we do have is this. Uh, we had volume once again. Now, the real kick is going to be this tomorrow. Can we get volume on the way down once again tomorrow? Because what we have had since last October is this. Uh, the King dollar has been in a range. The range it's been in is from about 94 to about 97.50 since last October. What we have had is that each time that it's trying to get to higher price, it gives it up in price and there's no volume. Each time that it has backed down, however, the volume has dried up tremendously. Now, we're down two days in a row with volume. That is only, that's happened once before, and then the third day, no more sellers. This has already broken the uptrend. It has a 94 price projection. The proof or the probability would go much higher if, in fact, we get volume again tomorrow. We're at 25,769, and we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, there's been a lot of movement inside the currency, well, inside all the markets out here. Uh, inside the currency market, of course, what ends up happening inside the currency market, that is what is moving the commodities um, in a big way. There's, there's no two ways about that. Stay right there, folks. We get some numbers coming out after the close. Recap out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 249. NASDAQ up 64. S&P's up 27. Come right back.